You may well be familiar with stories involving phantom or ghostly hitchhikers. You pick up a passenger along a lonely, desolate stretch of road, only to find they suddenly disappear. It seems this phenomena is one of the most common urban legends related to the paranormal, with different variations existing in many countries all around the world. Majority of these stories are likely the culmination of myth and folklore being passed through generations. Yet, could there be more to these phantom hitchhikers than just tall tales told to elicit a quick scare? I had recently been made aware of a phantom hitchhiker existing in my corner of the world, and through some digging, I was able to uncover some historical evidence that seemed to back up their ghost story. This all added legitimacy to the tale and coaxed me to visit and investigate this supposedly haunted stretch of road. Hey Crypt Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight we are driving down and investigating a very haunted road, but this haunted road is like no other I've ever encountered because I've actually uncovered some historical backing that supports the ghost story surrounding this place. Really excited for this one, so stay tuned. Whoo, that was a um, crazy start to our, our mm. night. We almost got in a brawl at the servo. Yep. Not really. <laughs> well, we weren't really involved. We were bystanders and we were ready to intervene and to help. But yeah, there was some some people who weren't happy with each other and yelling little at bit each of, other. A little bit of a road rage incident. Mm. And then well, also, servo. Should we explain what servo is? Servo is gas station for those on the other side of the hemisphere. Wait, the other hemisphere. Mm the other part of the world <laughs> service station we just shortened to servo because we just shortened everything in australia gas station yeah but we're not here to check out the servo thankfully we are here for a haunted road so this road which we've driven on a number of times i do not believe we've ever been down here at night though there's a lot of ghost stories surrounding it and i didn't realize that these ghost stories were as prevalent as they are until i started to research them today and then i thought you know what we got to come out here tonight. We've got to go and drive this road. We've got to do it, right? How many ghost stories are there? Like, why why is this place said to be haunted? Because it seems like a pretty average road to me. Yeah, it is a pretty average road. It's a main highway from Adelaide into Port Wakefield, which extends down to the York Peninsula. The ghost story that centres here is your classic hitchhiker phantom. Phantom hitchhiker. Yes, Woo. which I love. But this one is unique because typically these phantom hitchhikers i think they're more likely to be women like a woman in white but this one's actually a dude it's a man dressed in sort of an air force kind of get up yeah there's been these stories circulating since the 1940s along this stretch of road so i first read about it today well actually i've heard about it quite a few people have told me to come and check it out but i was reading about it today on the york peninsula website and they said from the 1940s so many people have sighted this guy they've picked him up They've stopped to get him and he he tends to disappear. But there is a story of a couple. They picked up this man in an Air Force sort of mm. uniform and he asked to be driven to a particular address in Adelaide. This couple was on their way from Port Wakefield through to Adelaide anyway, so they thought, sure, we'll drop you off. And they got to the house and the guy was gone. And this kind of concerned them. So they thought, oh, we'll better look around for this guy. Oh no, we can't find him. So they actually knocked on the door of this residence and said, hey, we picked up this guy in an Air Force uh, outfit and he wanted to come here, but I don't know where he is now. He's gone. And the woman that answered the door allegedly said, oh, that's my son. He died in a plane crash while they were doing training drills during World War II around Malala. Wow. Yeah. Did you say that it was actually on the council's website? So the council have put up an article warning people about this ghost story? It's not so much a warning. It's more them sharing, hey, there is this ghost story along right. this stretch of road. They provided a secondary story on the same website that was basically saying this time the ghost wasn't Adelaide bound, it was coming into Port Wakefield. So hitched a ride into Port Wakefield and the man who saw this ghost was a local businessman and followed him into the public toilets at the Shell Servo service station, gas station. And as he was walking in behind him, he, you know, he said he had the uniform on of the, the RAF and he walked in before him and this guy just disappeared right in front of his eyes. Wow. So he's been around. Now this was just one source, so one website, and I thought to myself, I wonder how prevalent this is. So I kept looking and I did find an internet forum 
this forum was not for ghosts or anything it was actually for uh, Ford enthusiasts so picture people who own a Ford car and they just go for joy rides around the place someone did a post and this post was back in 2008 and they said hey I just heard on the radio about this Port Wakefield ghost and they were talking about it so many people were calling up saying they'd sighted this ghost or heard stories about it has anyone here had an interaction or encounter with the ghost they're just curious because it seemed to be so popular on the radio and there were two people in that forum that said yeah what <laughs> <laughs> F anyway carrying on there were two people in this forum that had had encounters or knew someone the first guy said around 2 a.m he sighted the ghost as he was pulling out of port wakefield towards adelaide he said eight clicks out is a click okay uh, I think so, yeah. About eight clicks out of Port Wakefield, he saw it on the side of the road. It was appearing to be hitching a ride, so he pulled over. But when he pulled over, the guy was gone. So I find that kind of interesting. The second person was a woman. So she was driving towards Adelaide, and this was somebody's wife. So he was relaying her story in the forum. But he said she all of a sudden saw a pair of legs on the road, so started to break. And kind of braced herself the closer that she got to this figure because she thought that she was actually going to hit a person but when there was no fud she didn't actually hit that person um she she stopped and she pulled over right so what does that remind you of that reminds me of my personal ghost story well actually when i took a girl on a date to the movie theater she thought she'd seen someone walk in front of my car and we covered a video on that Mm. Uh, known as the, uh, near the car clue cemetery so yeah go check that one out yeah but that sounds exactly like that story she's seen like a half invisible person walk in front of the car and then disappear into the car so i think that's exactly what happened to this lady so because she came to a stop and she must have been i would have been flustered if mm. i thought i hit someone so similar to you and your date they got out of the car or she got out of the car and was looking around a car pulled up behind her because they noticed what had happened so they were helping her look for this person that you know she thought she might have hit and they just weren't there right and the husband said that she later that night when she made it back to Adelaide I guess said that she believed this person was potentially um, a skydiver because there's a skydiving school around there and the reason she, that she thought that is because she described them as wearing almost like a, a jumpsuit so years later they found out about this phantom hitchhiker who was part of the RAF and you know died in this accident and thought wow I believe I actually saw that ghost. So we've got a phantom hitchhiker male who's dressed in either a jumpsuit or army like clothing that people have seen either walking towards Adelaide and hitching a ride or to into Port Adelaide. Well, he was part of the RAF, so Royal Australian Air Force, so he was a pilot. That's kind of the get up. Mm. So I'm not sure what... My first thought was picturing a guy in a suit, like looking all smart, but I guess if you're a pilot and you're fly actively mm. flying, you, maybe you would wear more of a jumpsuit. So you mentioned earlier that there's history to back up these ghost stories. So what have you found? Well, I was curious about the whole story. So supposedly there was a crash at Malala and you know that the first couple that I learned of picking up this hitchhiker drove him to an address in Adelaide to the guy's mum right and I thought I wonder if there has actually been air crashes out there the first article I found an old newspaper article uh, told of three people who had died in a RAF accident around Malala but the dates didn't line up so it was in the 1950s and supposedly this woman's son died during World War II. I did find a secondary article though. There was a young man, he was just 24 years old, was doing uh, a night uh, sort of training drill uh, out by Malala, crashed and died. Very, very sad. He didn't, he wasn't married. They didn't say anything about other family or anything in the article, the newspaper article that I've read, but the date lines up. I, it was 1941 uh, September when, when that happened, so maybe it's our guy so question if we see a hitchhiker tonight while we're driving around are we going to pick him up yes we have to oh no <laughs> <laughs>
Look at your freaking headband. I, shall, I, do, I do look like a hitchhiker right now. <laughs> the hitchhiker would probably be more wary getting in the car of us than we would be picking them up. Actually, fun fact, me and Amy have actually hitchhiked before. Not that we recommend it, it is dangerous, but we did while we were doing our world stint. We've we hitchhiked, hitchhiked in Romania. A, num a number of times actually. Um, <laughs> in Romania and Poland yeah. and... A lot of people don't realise but when we travelled around the world we did a year long stretch and we tried to do it very cheap. And yeah, hitchhiking, well sometimes hitchhiking was the only way that you could get to yeah. some of the places that we went. Some of the remote but, places in Romania like that's how you get around. Yeah, we never had a bad experience but you know, I've yeah. watched a lot of horror movies. So yeah, we're definitely going to pick up a hitchhiker if we see one. How do you investigate? A haunted road because normally we go and investigate a location we're in a specific building we're in a spe specific room like this is like a stretch of road that stretches tens of kilometers like how do you do that well the planning? short answer is i don't know <laughs> great <laughs> we're just winging it i've got a camera set up just here that's gonna yeah. face out and watch the entire drive just watch the road so if anything you know maybe we'll drive for a mist or a person or hopefully not mm. <laughs> not a living person but you know that's going to be watching the road i'm going to film us within the car with the night vision so it's you know we're not going to have any filming lights or distractions while we're actually driving maybe we'll run the ghost tube i don't know and i feel like you know we've driven down this road so many times and so many others have how do we know when that opportune moment is going to be when the ghost is just here. But you know what though, a lot of people have driven on this road, that's true, but how many people are listing out or looking for the subtle paranormal things that occur? You know what I mean? Like if you're driving down the road, especially in, during the day, there's lots of traffic on this road. It's beautiful scenery, as you would have seen in some of Amy's, you know, edits on this video. So I guess you're not really looking for it. So people may have had subtle clues or hints or interactions and not even realised it. But I say that maybe we start the drive back. We're going to drive back from Port Wakefield, where we are now, towards Adelaide. We'll pass Malala on the way and yeah, maybe something will happen. And fingers crossed we don't actually have to pick up a hitchhiker. I don't oh, actually no, that. fingers crossed we do. <laughs> right guys, we are on our way. Hey. Jared's a bit grumpy. No, I'm not. Jared's a bit grumpy. <laughs> oh, so there's a lot of roadworks coming out of um, Port Wakefield. So we're just trying to get past this sort of area. I reckon as the roadworks end is around the area that the the guy said he saw the ghost at around 2 a.m. So I reckon it's oh crap! What the frick? All right, I'm having major camera dilemmas. <laughs> so we've got one dash cam, and then obviously I'm just filming us with night vision inside of the car, and. Yeah, angles are tricky. So far, no hitchhikers that I've seen. No, there's plenty of other cars on the road though. Yeah. So if we do come across anything, you guys are going to see it on the dash. Should I run a ghost tube as we drive? I mean, you can if you want. I mean, I just feel like if, you know, the odds of us getting a response whilst we're in motion, you know, seem a bit out there to me, but you never know, I suppose. Well, maybe let's just drive for a little bit. And maybe we'll find a piece of safe road to kind of pull off and we can call out. What would the odds be if we actually seen a hitchhiker, hey, though? That would be crazy. I actually haven't seen a hitchhiker down here myself, a real one, so. Yeah, neither have I. But, you know, I know a lot of people from Adelaide and South Australia, even Australia, follow me that probably have driven down this road. Uh, and yeah, leave a comment. If you know about this legend, if you've seen the hitchhiker, you know someone who has, I'd be so interested. There we go, ghost tube. It's a ghost rolling. Is you know what, I actually have had a few people email me about ghost tube or talk to me about ghost tube and they, they've gotten responses in their car while I was driving that were relevant to whatever it was they were driving past. Like I had one person say accident and they were actually driving past a, a clean up of a car accident things like that i have had one too um this is actually someone uh, someone that i know was telling me about this right they said that their friend was using ghost tube in the car and they drove past 
a road and it said something along the lines of accident or crash, blood, and then 16, something like that, right? And then they looked it up and just the week before on that stretch of road they were driving along, there was a 16 year old who had a car accident and sadly passed away. So I don't actually know where that was, but whether it was kind of relevant, I don't know. By the way guys, we do not encourage anyone to use their phones or go to whilst actually driving. Yeah, please do so not do that. We don't do that. I mean, I'm using, so I'm filming at the moment. Yeah, but Amy, you're not driving. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I am being very safe. And yes, wear your seatbelt. John. John. Do we have a name for the ghost story? Oh, we do. I can't remember off the top of my head, though. Surely you'd remember if it was John. Yeah. We're very close. The name of the pilot was Patrick John Brady. Wow. I mean, John is a common name, so maybe it's a bit of a coincidence, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's something. That's and something, that's guys. Saying, I'm going to pull over here because yeah, let's the name. pull off. Is this just a truck stop? Yeah, a truck stop. Alright. And do we have it to ourselves? Maybe. I think we do. Yeah. Oh, sweet. John, if you're around, or maybe your middle name's John, is Patrick in the dictionary? Jared, do you uh, I remember? Feel like it's a very common name, it should be. Ooh, it's a bit cold out here. Right. Eat. Eat. Alright, so we're just standing in front of our car now. Um, the road here. What? Is this Highway 1? Is that yeah, what it's called? Yeah, yeah. So Highway 1, it, yeah, leads down to the York Peninsula. So we got the name John whilst we were driving and there was a truck stop here, so we pulled in. And John was the middle name uh, of the Patrick, alleged ghost? Patrick John Brady. And so he was just eat. 24 years old and, you know, my name's Amy and I'm here tonight with Jared. And if there is a man looking for a ride, we're happy to give you one. You can get in our car now or um, when we get back in. Oh yeah, if, I mean we might not see the ghosts, but if they are here, they might get in our car with us. That'd be nice. Go open the back seat, Jared. <laughs> or I call shotgun, so if there's a ghost here, you can go in the back seat. <laughs> Alright, door is open. Alright, sweet. Alright, but if there's somebody here and you're lost, I would love to take you home. We can help you... Um, go back home if you know where to go. Well, where would you like to take where would you like us to take you? Somebody need a lift? You can just jump in the car. I kind of feel like it's um like at Walt Disney World, you know the haunted mansion ride and they've got the ghostly hitchhikers. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that bit. Oh, they take a photo of you at the end or something, don't they? And they you, they superimpose the ghost hitchhikers on your back. Is that a thing? I don't know. Where do you want us to take you? We'll take you wherever you want to go. Except the other way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would take them the other way. Where do you want to go? I reckon it must be around here how far out from this Port is Wakefield? about six or seven kilometers six kilometers out eight kilometers maybe ten so i don't I mean, know he, he might have even been sighted peace. a little peace are you um, at peace i'd hope so that's a long i mean <sighs> i also want to know are you in here with us as well are you in the back or the front like are you here oh we don't really have much room back there Put our camera gear. Yeah, we've got lots of camera and paranormal gear back there. We just want to know that you're in the car so that we can take off. It's such a sad story to think that a spirit, you know, you pass away in this terrible accident when you're just 24 years old and then you spend your afterlife looking for your mum. Yeah, I mean... I feel like I'd be looking for my mum in the afterlife too. Yeah. So, I don't know, I just... I feel, it's just a sad story, isn't it, I guess. 
Um, but yeah, so many people have allegedly sighted this ghost. I'm gonna do a spirit box. I feel, th this is a tricky investigation to do. That go first ghost tube hit of John could have been a coincidence, but the fact that that is the guy's middle name, and I mean, I'm not even, who knows, I'm assuming that that is the ghost that everyone sees and it fits in with the story, that piece of history, it makes sense, but that was weird. Now, I also wanna just say, Tonight we just finished filming a little exclusive patron update and during that we actually got something that we feel was saying for us to go ahead as if you know keep carrying on towards Adelaide which we we're going to do anyway because that's where we live so we're driving home. We don't know if there's someone in the car with us. I mean it's so unlikely, but if I just sit here for a little bit longer and do a spirit box, and if we get anything relevant through this, I think that would be pretty cool. So, should we try that? Let's do it. There is not a peep coming out of that. I feel like maybe we should just continue down the road. Is there someone back there? We're still at the truck stop, just pulled over, so I'm a bit on edge, but. What do you reckon, Jared? Yeah, I think so. Seems a bit, seems like it's gone quiet now. Yeah, it w yeah, it felt like some stuff happened and then quiet, but if it did mean go ahead or keep going forward, keep going ahead, maybe we should do that. Maybe the spirits in the back are like, come on, let's go. Yeah. Come on already. All right, all right, we'll get on the road. <laughs> Full steam ahead, you ready? Here we go. We are back on the road now. Now, I don't know if there is someone in the car, if you're behind us. I don't know how you can alert us that you're here, but if you want to direct us where we're going, you need to somehow do that now. Imagine if we did see someone hitchhiking. That'd probably be pretty cool. Wow, that person's got their high beams on and it's blinding me. Far out. What a fool. Jesus. There they go. So I've just turned on that device again. I don't know if you did actually say John to us earlier, but thank you if you did. So you may have told us to go ahead, which we're assuming means you want to go to the city, but if that's wrong, you're gonna to have to tell us. If you can give us any sign as to where you want to go. bakery thing at Port Wakefield and Jared called his pasty a pasty <laughs> and I had to explain to him what a pasty was <laughs> what do you reckon of this trip Jared you know ghost or no ghost I've had fun I mean it got us out of a house it's sort of like a date to a truck stop <laughs> um, to a gas station but you know, it's been fun, it's been a road trip, you know. I think like sometimes one thing... Radio. Radio? Oh! Does it want the radio on? Is that what it said? We were just using the spirit box. We can't put the radio on what there. What is this? Ooh, yeah, oh. come on. Hand. hand, hand. Hand, here's my hand. I actually use yours to drive it. Um, okay. Does it want the radio on? Oh, we'll get whatever, it I'll get a Ceiling? Ceiling? Well, we could put the radio on and she'll have to dub it though. No, I feel like it was referring to the spirit box. 
because if you're a ghost from the 40s what I do? oh can you tell us where to go if you're just working out how this works can you tell us your name or where we should go also thank you for talking to it's us so active all of a sudden. it's really weird yeah i mean Maybe we drove past something that just made the phone skits out. But I mean, as you can see from the camera, there's nothing out here. It... Green, leaving. No, don't, don't stay in the car. Stay, stay in the car, stay we're stay driving car. really fast. Stay stay please, please stay, please stay. We're doing like a hundred Ks. You don't want to leave right now. What did it say before it said leaving? I don't know, I didn't see it. I'll have to check the lock after. Oh my gosh. Okay, Um. please don't leave. It's so quiet now. Yeah, it was like super chatty before and now dead silent. Yeah, it's weird. We're further and further from Port Wakefield though. Yeah. So I mean, I guess that's sort of, yeah, maybe a compelling thing, right? We're getting yeah. less responses the further away we get. There's another truck stop here. I don't think we should stop though unless we get a sign. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a sign then? Well, not I a mean, not, to not to pull in, in and reach out. Should the I just stop to, then? Well, it said goodbye and I'm leaving before announcing stop or whatever. Keep recording. Okay, we'll keep recording then. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, we'll keep recording then. Alright, oh, fine. You're the boss. Okay. Made it back. Made it home. Uh, hit ghost hitchhiker didn't tell us where to go, so he brought him home. <laughs> like, stay with us now. Yeah. But to be honest, I wasn't expecting to get anything tonight. So I thought the few things we did get were kind of cool when it got a bit chirpy on the way home. So yeah. I actually felt like we were talking to someone in the back. But um, yeah, I don't know. Some interesting things came through Ghost Tube, especially that first word. John, I yeah. was quite shook about that. Um, but do we think there was a ghost in our back seat? Probably not. But I mean, some of those responses we get that make you wonder though. Yeah, yeah. You know? But what do you guys think? I'm so keen as well to hear from anybody who has a phantom hitchhiker story from their locale. You know, they're prevalent all throughout the world, these phantom hitchhiker stories. So it's it's not an uncommon urban legend, but I just feel like the one that we know here in SA, South Australia, is pretty unique. But yeah, let us know if there's a similar one or if you've seen or know someone who's seen or have heard about the Port Wake Wakefield Hitchhiker Ghost, I would be keen to know Maybe about comment it. comment below. Yeah, definitely comment. Uh, but yeah, it's been a fun night. I'm just glad that we got out to do something. COVID is still a big issue for us here in Australia. Jared and I are waiting to get vaccinated, but we're still a while off. And borders are still closed. Borders are closed. A lot of places in Australia are in lockdown, so I sympathise with you all. I'm doing my best to keep content coming. That is just my goal right now, is just to keep content coming. So yeah, hopefully soon we can travel and we can take you to some amazing places in other countries mm. or in other states in Australia. <laughs> Maybe some more haunted truck stops. Yes, leave a comment if you know about some haunted truck stops or we servos. <laughs> we can do plenty of them. Yeah, but I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really helps us out. If you want to do any more reading on the Port Wakefield Ghost, head to amyscrypt.com. Uh, you can also follow me on social media at, at Amy's Crypt on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And we post bonus content on Patreon and our YouTube members. They're linked below. But thank you so much for watching, Crypt Keepers. Bye. Until next time.